but XQC your energy and craziness is one of a kind XQCL like being in places uh or like has that Louis it, it, it just feels fabricated happy 19 months stay dripping B no cap it's like um oh this is made to party and have fun right hey, look hey, look hey, you, you it's luxurious uh, have fun and you have to be happy and feel a party mood po now thanks for being cool it, it's kind of how I feel with it so it feels a bit fabricated that's why I like the, the buses, because the they're made to, to go from one place to another with other pe people. I'm like, oh shit, man. Oh my God, it is now it's fun because we made it fun. Hello, Mr. Cowman, have you played the new Jackbox games you know, yet? We made it fun. It wasn't made to have fun. It just, you know? Ah, whatever, man. Oh, well, I don't agree. I'm going to go and chat in time, question mark it. Man, I, then, man. Man. I to use eye drops. You know it's hard to do without some of it rolling down your cheek. I used to think that was because I missed. But it turns out I'm not actually so bad at this. Well, most of the time anyway. So bad. Eye drops run down our faces because Where's the typical drop is Chat. larger than what the human eye can... Watch this. Should I have done? Done. Physically contained. Ow. Some are more than twice what the eye can hold. Oh my gosh. That means using a single eye drop is like pouring water into a glass that's already full. Or it's like in those clear eyes commercials. As an ingredient to moisture. Provides up to 12 hours of soothing comfort. It removes redness and has an ingredient to moisturize. Wow. It's That's incredibly scary. wasteful to make oversized drops. They cost a lot of money. The waste from each one is like a tiny snowflake. It's easy to overlook until they've piled up into a billion dollar snowball. It's wasted medicine, and all of us are paying for it. Wait, really? Eye drops. They may all seem alike, but take another look. The eye drops industry is huge, they're sold by volume, and some can cost hundreds of dollars for a small bottle that only lasts a month. The financial cost is a particular problem for the millions of patients with chronic conditions that require expensive drops Chat. every day. I've said Last this 10 year. times, okay? But uh, this is a story that I've said a million times. One day I had a peel box opening where people send stuff, and one of my mods, Zoss, sent me uh, eye juice, right? That I, uh, that I was always use, but instead she sent me uh, uh, something called Roto, right? I opened it on stream. I was like, ah, man, you boys, new eye juice. And, 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 and then, holy shit, it started burning my fucking retina, dude. It was like acid. Why? U.S. drug companies brought had to take a break, dude. For billion dollars for dry eyes and glaucoma drops alone. Eye drops are far too big for our eyes. That's Dr. Alan Robin, an ophthalmologist and glaucoma expert who teaches at Johns Hopkins Medicine. It's very wasteful. Uh, we see that patients are basically spending twice as much money as they need to on drops. Everyone's body is different, but experts say almost every eye drop on the market is larger than the eye can hold. So the excess just washes out, and we end up paying for a lot more medication than we can use. Chat. Wasted eye Can I manage chat? I feel like it's like a small waste. Am I, am I overlooking this? It's, it's like a very small a waste. bigger problem. Experts estimate that the U.S. healthcare system wastes $765 billion a year. That's about a quarter of our overall spending. And it's actually more than the entire budget of the Department of Defense. ProPublica has been investigating the kind of wasted healthcare spending that exists right in front of our eyes, literally. Cancer drugs are also a big ticket waste item. They can cost thousands of dollars per infusion, but are frequently wasted just because of the way they're packaged. Most cancer drugs are infused based on body size, so patients need different amounts. But most of them come in single use vials that can be much too large for an individual patient. So once the patient gets the needed dose, the rest of the expensive drug in the vial is thrown out. Drug prices driving patients and their families into bankruptcy. That on top of patients paying for expensive cancer drugs, to help them, they're also paying for, in some cases, a lot of extra cancer drug that's just going in the trash. 
That's Dr. Peter Bach, the director of the Center for Health guys, Policy I didn't, and Outreach. Yeah, guys, I didn't laugh, okay? It's just because I tuned out, and whenever he said it, can't, uh, guys, um, listen, at Memorial Sloan it's not County like that. Cancer Center in New York. Waste hurts people because it costs money. If you waste half of a vial that costs $5,000, somebody is paying that money, $2,500 back to the drug company. 5K? Uh, and it's the drug company benefits because that, they count that as, as revenue or profit. Take the case of Herceptin, a popular and pricey drug that's mostly used to treat breast cancer. The drug company used to make vials that patients could share, so little of the drug would be wasted. But then it announced in May that the shareable vials would be replaced by single-use vials, and the switch would mean throwing away any medication left over from an infusion and billing the patient for the waste. Genentech, the company that makes Herceptin, told me that they had to make the change yeah. for supply chain reasons to go to a size that's more common worldwide. Every milligram of Herceptin costs about $9, so a cancer patient's monthly infusion can run more than $3,000. One administrator at a California Cancer Treatment Center calculated her average patient would waste 110 milligrams per infusion with the single-use vials. This is like $900? Almost $1,000 of wasted spending per infusion. The waste associated with oversized cancer Jesus. drug vials is substantial. A study led by Dr. Bach in 2016 calculated the waste with the top 20 cancer drugs packaged in single-use vials. It estimated that 10% of the medication gets wasted, costing $1.8 billion in a single year. But here's the thing. <laughs> this is a waste problem that's... fixable. For cancer drugs, manufacturing shareable vials this or vials in shot, various sizes dude. are proven ways to reduce waste. For eye drops, <laughs> why not just make the drop smaller? Dr. Robin knows it can be done because he and a team of experts already did it in a study about 20 years ago. He consulted with global eye care leader Alcon when its researchers developed what they called a micro drop for patients with glaucoma. It was a 16 microliter drop one that was half to a third of the size of most drops on the market today. Oh, smart. Then they studied the performance of the micro drop compared to regular size drops. There was no significant difference between the smaller and larger eye drops. Not only were the micro drops just as effective, they also reduced some of the uncomfortable side effects. And all the participants actually preferred the micro drop bottle. But instead of being a breakthrough, the innovation became a case study in how profits can come before patients. I tried personally to get the micro drop accepted. Man, this guy's mic is so bad. They looked as though I was a Jesus. The pharmaceutical company would be losing half the money that they could be making. Officials from Novartis, the drug company that now owns Alcon, declined to discuss their micro drop study. They said eye drops are designed with a margin of safety to help patients, but they wouldn't go into specifics. I oh, think thanks, the regulators man. would care about all this wasted medicine, but the FDA regulates the safety and effectiveness of a drug, thanks, not dude. its price or the cost related to waste. Patients paying billions of dollars for wasted medicine is just one more reason America has the highest. Why is he closing his eyes while playing eye drops? Hi guys, I'm Renjani. Uh, video. I like bugs videos when they're uh, like that, like informative instead of you know, chill. 